Hi everyone, it's Bongo here uh, from the Poultry People channel. What are we making today? I got a message on Facebook from, uh, I got tagged by Vic in a, in a post from Ian Beast, the new shared Rio's picture, uh, Rio No Ticas. Uh, he, he made a, like a wood burner out of a couple of hubs. So that's what we're going to make today for the Cub Scouts. Uh, I think Ian and Paul both help out with the Cub Scouts down in Stoke. So a nice project that's going to give kids uh, something great that they can play with fire, cook food and all that bollocks. Some slight deviations. Um, this is our hub. I'm going to use this as the base. But because it's got holes in the bottom, I'm going to line it with the bottom of a gas bottle. I'm going to cut that off around about there. We don't want hot coals landing on the floor uh, and burning the floor, whatever they might be setting it up. So we're going to put a, a base in the bottom of it. Uh, top, that's fine as it is. Uh, then reinforced bar and this stuff here. This I'm going to put a little bolt on section on the side so they can slot in uh, the rebar for spit roasting uh, rabbits and chickens and stuff like that. Okay, so a quick uh, gracias a Rio para la invención y el gran respeto para compartir. So thanks for Rio for sharing this. I'm going to copy your design. Um, slight change, but uh, thank you very much for sharing this. Right, let's crack on, eh? I've got to say a big thanks to my good friend, long time good friend, DJM uh, Emster uh, from the village here, whose farm I got these off. Um, lovely guy, very kind. So, uh, big thanks to him. Uh, actually, I'll put the link up <clears throat> to his uh, Facebook page. He's just started a Facebook page promoting his business, and he's uh, an egg distributor. But it just doesn't do eggs, he does bacon, cheese, Welsh speciality cheeses. Okay, so, um, he, and what, Darlington's jams, he supplies butchers and stuff like that. Really nice guy, get in touch with him if you've got a fucking cafe or something along those lines, or, you know, you want to bulk order some bacon. I mean, his bacon is spot on. Uh, <laughs> I made this. You might think if you're making gas bottle wood burners stuff, you might want to think about making one of these for yourselves. <laughs> Bollocks. Right, that whole bit with the gas bottle didn't fucking work. Bastard. So I've cut the base off the gas bottle, popped it in. This is what you're left with. That's what I've done. Cut the bottom off the gas bottle, popped it in. Okay, I also took the ring off. Off the bottom, so we've got that going in, and that dropping down. Fucking camera didn't record, what a piece of shit. Right, great clamps then, bought them 20 years ago. Uh, total value for money. I've still got them, 20 years down the line. What do I need? Welding rods. Okay, first spot on there. If I start welding from here, it's going to heat up and it's going to banana out. Grind this off a bit better. Not the fuck it
Yeah, that'll do, won't it? Yeah. So now we're going to need to cut the door. Or, oh, I don't know about a door, but uh, a flat for getting the timber in. How's that look? Not bad at all then, them wells look quite good, they're not bad. That was a bit shit, go over that again. What the fuck's the number? That's a fucking good well that. Better, much better. That's um, thanks to my uh, YouTube uh, subscribers. You know who you are. I put a video up a while ago about my shitty welding. You all stepped up, got fucking loads of advice, and I think a lot of it's paid off. Again, it's not perfect, but um, you know, I'm just a just a working bodger dude. I'm not a, I'm not doing this. I'm not a, a professional welder or anything. Because this is going for Cub Scouts and kids that are going to be using it, you're going to need to... As most of it off, we'll go over it with wire wool, uh, not wire wool, uh, sandpaper and uh, do a better job of it. But, it's pretty much there. Heavy little bugger. Ooh. Ha ha. That's domed it out a bit. Oh yeah, that's lovely, that's lovely. Right. Fucking ass hot. So I used to be in Cub Scouts back in the day. Uh, I can't remember who used to go. Definitely Peggy, maybe Smith. I reckon one, uh, one day, uh, it was just me and Peggy, and we were, what was happening? Because we were, it was in a different village, we did, this village doesn't have its own Cub Scout troop, we had to go to a different village. And, of course, if you're from a different village, you're a fucking mutant, aren't you? And fuckers from that different village, oh, it's all that bollocks, tribalism, and all that shit. So, uh, do one session, me and Peggy beat Lil, living fucking shit out of this one guy. Well, it must have been 10 or so, I thought. Yeah, Cubs, isn't it? 10, I think. And we never went again, for some reason. So there you go. Thugged out since Cub Scouts. Yes, indeed. We are here to make you bleed. <laughs> your average chicken. You know what I should have done is should have drilled holes down here 
and holes corresponding and then you could pin it to where you want it. I might still do that, that's a, that's a better idea. So, right, I'm going to cut this on a slant as well I think. It looks a little bit more, a bit nicer. So. By Jove, I think we're nearly done. Ma <laughs> so I should have put them there, like that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I like it. Be fucking off, you know. finished it's a bit more bit of sanding we're gonna paint it up and then we're gonna call it quits happy days let's go and get a brew when people talk about making shit and they say stuff like blood sweat and tears they're not fucking around you know I've just smacked my hang my shin and, and that hurts like a motherfucker I know it's gonna be bruised down there okay and then and then this I don't know how that's happened uh, there we go. Fucking blood, sweat, and tears. Right, we're pretty much done now, I think. They probably could do a few more coats of paint, but it's only going to bloody wear off anyway, so probably won't bother with that. Got Mr. Raggles. He's waiting for his bacon. He's a, he hasn't been fed all day. He's been locked in, haven't you? But baby. But baby. Take a few photographs. You better not be taking a shit in there, Raggles. You take a shit outside. I can hear you scratching. What are you scratching at? I swear to God, you'll be the first one on this fucking spit roast, you bastard. Where have you been? What have you been up to? You fucking filthy bastard. Yeah, 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 your bacon's cooking now. Better sit down and wait. He's a raggles. He's a good boy. That's fire. Don't you look at me like that. There's a lot going on this video. Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot going on this video. There's a lot going on this video today. Uh, quick, quick heads up. Get it up quick enough. 
Being q I've got a bit of a clearance sale on the go. Probably shit for the summer, some shite coming in. I had a quick wander around this morning while mum was in hospital. And uh, axes down from 15.95 to five quid in B&Q today. Don't go to my local one because I fucking took them all. Let's see how this fucking rocks it. Cheers oh, for scotch. Oh, 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 oh. Glenn Livet, 15 years. Which was this one? The French Oak Reserve. Oh. Really nice smell. So smooth. This is living a life, this is. Needs to be a bit careful. Kids are coming home from school. Last thing they want to see some scruffy tramp sitting around in the street drinking whiskey with his cat. I'm sure they've seen worse at home. Oh, that's great. You could drink that all day long. However, drinking neat whiskey, that's not really for me. That's more like it. What do we need? So you don't need vegetable to cook bacon, but if I don't use vegetable, it sticks in the pan. Why? Too hot. I don't know. Here, yeah, rugs. They're just trying to be friendly. Can't stop monkeying around. They're too busy being. Put everybody down. Oh, hey, the monkeys. <sighs> They're cooking with bacon now. What's this? It's always worth washing your hands, maybe. Sometimes. <laughs> That's just some really thick bacon there. You'll burn yourself. You can have bacon in a minute when it's cooked. Does it get any better than this? We've made a fire out of two hubs, some steel. Now the steel's always a problem, but if you look around, you can find steel, okay? It is here, people throw it out. All the time. What else do we use? A bit of rebar, again reinforcing. So this has cost us basically time welding rods. And that's it. Really good stuff. It's, a re it's one of the best fires, in my opinion. So nearly done.
he's waiting there patiently. Come on, man, what are you doing? No whiskey for you. Wait there. It's good enough for raggles. It's hot. You guys let it cool down a little bit. <laughs> oh. Come here. What happened to your bacon? You almost steal it. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Oh, he's got his. There we go. Thanks for watching. Um, make something. Make something. Get some stuff. Make it. Experiment. That's amazing bacon. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah, make something. Perhaps make something not for you. This is going for the Cub Scouts. Those are the Cub Scouts. Rob, blow on it for you.